I've had many different styles of camping in the bush. I've gone swag, I've done clamshell tent, and then only just recently I've got a hard top Camp Kings industry tent. And I am blown away by the quality of building it for starters, but the ease of use. I literally can pull up, tent up, done, have a cold one. And same goes for awnings. I've done, I started off with Audi awnings. Then I went to a 270 with poles. Uh, it was a good awning, but just the time to set it up. I'd never used it because it was so cumbersome to set up and especially one person, it was just so hard. The Cam Kings awning, literally, it's probably a minute or less and I can have it completely out, clipped in, done, shade from the sun. So this, the reason why I'd sort of gone this sort of Cam King style of unit is I do a lot of remote, tends to be solo sort of travel and I rely on my gear and I've always been a Land Cruiser man because of the reliability and that's sort of why I've gone to Camp Kings. The quality of their build is exceptional and there's so many little features in that that really suit me for what I want. Let's just go, the big thing, Australian mate. I'm a big person for Australian mate um, and supporting local industry. The canvas that's used in there, the poles, how easy it is to set up. There's so many little details in there to the point of the rivets. I'm a steel, I've done a lot of steel fabrication in my time. Every little TIG weld they do, the size of the rivets, it's, you know it's quality. Yes, you pay for quality, but you get quality. You're not paying for something that's gonna fall apart on the Uden data or out the Gib, out of Arnhem land. You know it's gonna be there. And there's certain bits of gear I feel that you can uh, go a cheaper option that isn't going to last, but if you rely on it, you need it. And unfortunately, if you're taking one tent, you rely on it. We, we build these great touring rigs to explore our own backyard and experience things in our life. And I, and I just sort of feel that you can spend a lot of money on a great touring setup, and then half the time you're sleeping. And <laughs> you should be spending at least a good amount of t money on in quality of sleep and that's why I've gone this option because if you do 12 hours of driving and you're going to do seven hours of sleeping for me it's there's some sort of thing level in that so for convenience comfort and quality this sort of setup suits me I do have other setups but for that getting out there exploring and touring as we all love to do Oh, I think it's the absolute perfect setup.